guys please support my youtube channel this is review analyst blog over the days to come and, and just try to fill our way through what's best for our team because ultimately that's what matters the most um is this team and and, and we'll figure out and fill our way through what's best and we'll go from there Draymond, this is kind of a two-part question, but um, first off, how do you think your apology Thursday was received, not only by Pool but by the team? And secondly, what specific steps do you think you need to take to kind of start rebuilding that trust and reinsert yourself back into the team and be welcomed? Um, I think my apology was accepted uh, pretty well from the team. Uh, at least that's what I was told. Uh, as far as how it was accepted to, from Jordan, I'm not sure how it was accepted. I didn't get much from Jordan on Thursday, nor did I expect to. Um, you know, I, I, again, I want to give Jordan space. I think that's uh, the most important thing initially is to allow Jordan to work through his thoughts and not me try to um, persuade his thoughts one way or the other. Um, give contact context one way or, or the other um i think the only context he needs right now is his and what he feels and 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 you know that will be affected um by more ways than one that'll be affected by what your friends say to you that'll be affected by what your family say to you that'll be affected by what you read in the media that'll be affected a million ways and he's more than um he is more than due the time to work through that, whatever it is. Um, and so I didn't get much from Jordan. I didn't expect to get much from Jordan, nor did I try to get much from Jordan. Um, my goal on Thursday was to speak with my team, um, to stand on my behaviors, to admit where I went wrong, my faults, and to apologize to Jordan, and I did that. Um, you know, in such a space like that that's so brand new, I hope anyone wouldn't expect much from him. Uh, and if you if you did or would have, it's kind of the wrong thing and, and a little um, insensitive to how he may feel. And so I didn't go in looking for anything from Jordan, um, and that's kind of how that went. Uh, I wanted him to hear me acknowledge my faults and hear my apology and that was that uh you know how that apology is accepted again is is based on actions it's not just my words Draymond, we've seen you have this like fun good relationship with jordan and then obviously the incident happening could you clarify like how you feel about jordan Poole? i love jordan Poole. that's my guy um you know i like i said to jordan I will still ride for Jordan. I still advocate for Jordan. I will still do anything that I can to make Jordan's job easy, to make Jordan look good, to get him the things that he want out of basketball that I can help from a teammate's perspective. That's that. Uh, my feelings towards Jordan does not change. Uh, it's a reason Jordan's locker is next to mine uh, from day one, you know, and that has changed a little bit. That dynamic has changed a little bit. It's on me to make that right and get it back, you know. But as far as my feelings for Jordan goes, um, you know, I'm the guy who supported Jordan when he was sent to the G League bubble and no one thought he had a chance. You know, I'm the guy calling him, hey, man, you should be doing this, or good game, calling Weems. Hey, Weems, I just heard this. Is this true? Weems saying, yeah. Uh, all right, let me call Jordan and figure this out. You know, I, that's me. You know, um, that don't change, uh, you know, at all. Love don't, my love is real. You know, love don't just go by the wayside. My love is there, you know, and my love ain't going nowhere. So I will continue to support him, help him where I can.